what's up? So I've had quite a morning. I had to go to Dollar Tree. I had to wait for T-Mobile to open. I had to deal with the insurance company because my husband broke his phone. And we filed the insurance claim. And I had to go through their automatic system because it was hard to get in touch with uh, somebody to actually talk to. So I went through that and they sent me their own phone. Whew. Um, and then when I called them to tell them that they sent me their own phone, the guy on the phone acted like I was stupid until um, I said, you know what, hold on. I, I'm going to three-way call my husband and then you can ask him all the lovely questions about his phone. And hopefully the insurance claim will get done right. And so I three-way called my husband and my husband talked to him. And the guy suddenly, he, like everything changed about this guy. He started acting like he knew what was coming out of my husband's mouth. And I was saying the exact same things that my husband was saying about the phone. And the guy acted like I was stupid, but the guy acted like my husband was the smartest thing on the planet. And I'm sitting here going, am I really witnessing this right now? Like, I was mad beyond mad. Sorry the phone keeps slipping, you guys. I don't know what's up with that. But I was like mad really really mad about it and I was trying to keep my cool and I was in T-Mobile while I was doing this because <coughs> y'all I still have a slight cough from when I was sick but anyways um the, the guy was just mm, I don't know it was irritating. It was frustrating. And I feel like the devil is just using everything that he possibly can to try and come against me. And he knows that I don't like stressful situations. And I don't know. But I was sitting there. I was like, I was grabbing the box and I'm like, I want to strangle him. And the lady's just sitting there laughing going, I'm getting like a kick out of this. <laughs> She's like, you know, for the situation, you're actually keeping your cool. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I was like, I knew that coming into T-Mobile and trying to get to talk to them and see about getting some help, which they helped. And I'm so grateful for that. Like, it really helped me to stay focused. And I knew that. And I'm really, really grateful. So, sometimes we get put in some very stressful situations where it seems like something that should be easy turns into a mountain problem and it seems like it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger but God is right there to be like hey I got you I got you and God's gonna see you through the problem God God's not gonna take away your problems God's gonna see you through your problems and I'm so grateful that Jesus is right there and I know Jesus is there to see me through my problems and to help me get through my problems with um I may get frustrated I may get torn down I may want to strangle people I may want to scream and shout and throw fit but Jesus is right there and he kept helped me keep my cool and keep my calm as much as I could and um I am so grateful for that. I am so beyond grateful that I have Jesus in my life. Because without him, there's no telling what chaos and what destruction I would cause. So, I'm just a normal person. I live my everyday life. Could I have handled myself a little bit better? Yeah. But, considering the person I used to be and how I used to handle situations... I'm actually doing really good for handling stressful situations. And, you know, you get better over time. And that's why I've, I've said before, like, Jesus helps you overcome things and helps you get better with situations. And sometimes you have to keep going around that, that bush or that mountain or whatever a couple of times until you can handle it. 
where people are just like, did she really handle it like that when she used to handle it like a deuce? And like, whoa, I would have never expected that from her. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you slowly, um, people slowly start to see the change in you. So, yeah. If I'm having a struggling time because Satan is trying to use a phone for insurance claims as a weapon formed against me and I'm not going to let it prosper in Jesus name. I may get frustrated, but I'm going to get back up. Jesus is brushing me off. He's saying, okay, now we're going to try to work on getting better next time a situation like this comes around. And I am so grateful that Jesus helps me get better and molds me and makes me. The change it does not happen overnight. It is a gradual change. But when whoo, when you look back on what you used to be and where you are now, the change is like, bam. The change is so good. And I'm so grateful for it. So, change is slow. Change is gradual. And in Jesus' name, we will prosper. And I cannot wait for the rapture when we are made whole and perfect. And we don't have to worry about being sinned because when, when we are raptured, we will get our new bodies and we will be sinless. We will be perfect. And we won't have to worry about overcoming sin because Jesus already came in all, over all of it. And when that rapture happens, I cannot wait. I will never have to worry about, did I sin and fall short of glory? Did I let Jesus down today? Did I let God down? Because that's one thing I don't like. And I know that one day I will never sin again. I will never let Jesus down again. And that will be the greatest day of my life. All right, you guys, I got to get off here. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye, y'all.